The planet Medusa, torn from its orbit around Proxima Centauri, has drifted through space to the far limits of Earth's solar system. Since time immemorial, Medusa has been ruled by women, with men as their obedient and loving servants. But now, Medusan man has learnt that somewhere beyond Jupiter is a planet called Earth, where men rule and women serve them. Surely this must be paradise. Male domestic Adam, seizing the space yacht of his mistress Fulvia, has escaped with his friend Shem. With little knowledge of interplanetary flight, they plunge headlong for Earth. Behind them, the pursuit ship Nemesis. For space holds no fury like a female planet scorned. dead, Fulvia. They had no hope of surviving. There is always hope. You know the technical problems of landing on a strange planet? Adam was a mere man. How could he have coped? An ordinary domestic. My domestic. There is nothing ordinary about him. Play back the tracking plot. You saw the explosion when they hit. Octavia, play it back. Very well. Empty. What is it? Some kind of parachute, perhaps. Careful, careful. That's fascinating. How does it work? How did they get out? What exactly are we looking for? Well, two creatures, intelligent, articulate, and of the dimensions of this sphere, anything to go by, similar in size to ourselves. That's all I can tell you. How strange to see a forest. But it's so savage. No cities, no machines, no video screens, and no women to command us. But we are free, Shen. <laughs> free at last. <laughs> what do we do now? I'm going to find the leaders, explain who we are and what we are doing here. Now, how will we know they are the leaders? And suppose they're hostile. Suppose they think we're invaders. It may be wise to lie low for a while. Come on. I'm still puzzled about the drive mechanism. If they were to travel at half the speed of light, then surely they must have used... Light itself. ...as a propellant. Yeah, photon drive. We've always known it's theoretically possible. If you can achieve total annihilation of matter, you have a light source of massive density and potential thrust. Good God. So that was their spaceship. Professor! Rudy? I will take it to the lab for analysis. Yes. I'm hungry. Where can we find food? How will we know it's food? That's the first thing to discover. Anything here could be food. Look, Adam. Things eating. Mm. Do you think those are people? <laughs> no. I have seen videographs of Earth people. They have two legs, two arms, a bit like us. Yeah, but those are creatures, and they eat. Biologically speaking, it is reasonable to suppose that most creatures in a uniform ecological environment will have a similar digestive system. You think so? I said it's reasonable. <laughs> then you try it. All right. We'll get used to it.
Some kind of fruit? I imagine so. I'm still hungry, Adam. Well, go on. <laughs> you tried. All right. High sugar content, but yes, all right. <laughs> hey, you two. You're stealing, aren't you? Stealing our apples. A woman? No, she's not a woman. She's a child. But a girl child. I shall call my mother. Her mother? Run for it! Wait! 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 There's nothing to be afraid of. She's an earth girl. They're submissive. I'm not submissive. And I'm not frightened of you two either. See, what did I tell you? Come on! Mom! There are two funny men stealing our apples! Yes. No! from the Grand Council. I'll get permission. Now turn around. We're going back for them. Very well. But we may have to use force. I see. This is the, uh, this is the wall they jumped over then. Yes, that's right. They sailed over it. Just like acrobats. I think they must have escaped from the circus. Are you sure you didn't imagine it? Oh, no, I saw them too. Acrobats who escaped from a circus? Doesn't sound very likely, does it? Well, thank you, young lady, for uh, telling us. I'll certainly keep a good lookout for them. But it's true. Oh, of course. Uh, where did they go? Over the fields. Thank you. They never do. Right, I want the entire area cordoned off and a helicopter patrol brought in. Circulate the description. Primitive. Interesting, well. Yeah. Do you think it's looking for us? I don't know. It spotted us. Now it's reporting back. What do we do? Wait, I think. Sooner or later we must make contact with people here. Yeah, but if Octavia's ship's still around? Yes, but we can't keep running. We must take a chance and ask the Earth people for sanctuary. you, Inspector. Well, the police have found them. Wonderful. What are they? That's the most amazing thing. They are people. Professor, the second alien ship is heading back to Earth at an astronomical speed. A rescue operation? Perhaps. We don't know. Rudy, keep tracking them. Liz, come with me. I've told the police to do nothing until we arrive.
Who are you? My name is Adam. He is Shelley. Where are you from? We are from... Wait! Don't tell them. Why? That woman. Would you like to tell us where you have come from? Who is in command? I am. What about that woman? Who is she? Well, she is one of my assistants. Uh, tell us about yourselves. Uh, we are interested. We are from the planet Medusa, on the outer limits of your solar system. Uh, why have you come to Earth? Please tell us. We mean you no harm. They're criminals. Stay where you are, Earthmen. They're coming back with us. We ask the questions, Earthmen. Who is the leader here? I am. Uh, Professor Evans. Uh, this is my assistant, Dr. Becker. How can she be your assistant? She's a woman. Dr. Becker, we apologize for intruding on your planet. The two men you see in front of you are wanted for serious crimes on Medusa. So would you kindly arrange for them to be detained? We shall be with you in a few moments. After that, we shall not trouble you. We're landing now. Stop them! We must let them get away! How does it work? I don't know. I'll try a master drive computer. They've let them get away. Hmm. If you would have done what I told you, this wouldn't have happened. Now we have to search for them. Now, just a moment, madam. This is a police operation, and I must ask you to explain. Be quiet. Tell those men to resume the search immediately. Yes, well, that's all in hand. Uh, madam, if I might interrupt. Look, I am in charge of this search, and I must ask you to come with us and explain who you are and what you're doing here. Don't be so impertinent. You see, we have so much to ask you. Believe me, we are not hostile, and it is, after all, our planet. Mm. Well, I'm afraid I must detain you. What have you done? Don't worry, they're not hurt. Just immobilized. Now let's stop wasting time. Uh, if we can discuss this quietly, I'm sure we can find a solution. Now, we cannot conduct a search from here, so let us go back to the police station. That seems to make sense. Very well. But those men must be found. Of course. That is in our interest as well as yours. wheels run the direct control from the master drive computer, steering wheel from the sensor. Where do we go from here? As far as we can from those women. <laughs> <laughs> Have 
Have you travelled to other parts of the galaxy? There have been a few scout trolls beyond Proxima Centauri, but most of outer space is very boring. Not to us. Ah, well, you're male-dominated. Space travel is reserved for little boys. Now, what's happening with your search? Have those two men been traced yet? What? Tell your superior to report to me immediately. Who are you, then? I'm the head of security on Medusa, and this is a Supreme Counselor. Do as you're told and don't be insolent. You've got to be joking. Now, see what happens on a planet without proper authority? Men become... Ladies, ladies, uh, please. Men become impudent and disobedient. Heavens alone know what will happen to your domestic if he becomes contaminated by this primitive world. Have you got them yet? Yes, we've located the car. About 25 miles southwest of here. They're putting up roadblocks. Right, put up the barrier. They blocked the road. Increase velocity by six quasons. Activate sensors. Walls are speeding up. You think we can make it? We'll just go straight through. What about the people? Sound all warning systems. There's no one driving it. Father control, jump for it! 90 degrees right. We made, we made it! it. What? what do you mean, out of control? You're not making sense. The car took avoiding action. Someone must have been driving. No, we have no statement for the press. This is a matter for the Ministry of Defence. Now, before you say anything, ladies, we've lost them again. I expected nothing better from you. Yes, well, the circumstances were a little unusual. According to our man on the spot, the car appears to have been driving itself. It's quite simple. They linked up a master drive computer. I said you couldn't handle it. Now we shall take over the search ourselves. You don't know the country. You wouldn't know where to begin. What's that? It has a technical name, but we just call it a man finder. A man finder? <laughs> Every male has a different scent. This machine has been programmed with the sense data of my domestic, Adam. Its range is about equivalent to ten of your miles. How very useful. Yes, every woman should have one. Ah, oh, there he is, Solar 15. Yes, north by northwest. Uh, we've located them. Yes, so we, northwest of those hills. No, no, the approach to the lake, east by northeast. You must have picked up a buck rabbit. should head them off.
now. Override the steering sensors. Master drive computer, override steering sensors. Continue on a straight course. It'll take them the rest of the day to drag that out, only to discover that it's empty. <laughs> Where now? We're less conspicuous on foot. <laughs> Look there. Well, what is it? From what I've learned from Earth's history, it was called a castle. In such a fortress, a few men could hold out against great armies. Mm -hmm.